Okay, so in this safety uh, video, um, I had a request from one of our crane operators that we videotape crane hand signals. So I've asked Keith Yerke from Yerke and Sons Crane uh, to demonstrate that for us since he's the guy that instructs our guys um, in rigor and signalman and in certifies our crane operators. So Keith, if you would demonstrate hand signals for us and thank you for doing that. Okay, I just want to start out and say that uh, I'm going to skip a few of them that we normally do in class because I'm trying to get what applies to you. And uh, I want to reiterate that everything we do, we try to exaggerate. It's maybe not an official written rule, but if you as an operator don't see a signal for three seconds, you shut down. That is the rule for voice signals, and so I think it still applies to hand signals. So we're going to uh, do these. I will exaggerate them and I want you to exaggerate them because you've got to think of the operator sitting a hundred feet away from you and he can't see your pinky little finger giving him a signal. So that's why I say exaggerate. Okay, and uh, we're going to start out with the first one, which is hoist up and I say uh, move your hand from the elbow and exaggerate that. If you're a long way away, then they can see this. The opposite of this is hoist down, which is this. Point one finger down and turn it, rotating your hand. Uh, next one is main line. You just tap your head with your fist. It means use the main hoist line. The auxiliary is tap your elbow. Uh, the next basic one is boom up or raise the load or, or raise the boom on me. And that's just it. Now it just shows a hand signal like this. There is no signal for boom up that gives you speed. So I do this, if you want to go slow, which usually when you're booming, you don't want to go fast. And so you can control a little bit of the speed with the, mo the speed of your motion of your thumb. This is boom up or raise the boom. This is boom down and do the same thing. Continuous, keep showing them, continue, continue, continue. And you can do like voice signals and slow down when you want to get them close to stopping so that you don't have a quick stop. Uh, next one is to move slowly. So you can uh, use this to indicate raise the load slowly. This is raise the, or lower the load slowly. Now this is the standard one now the one that I think is local to us is this. This means move slowly, be gentle. And so I think everybody around this area, I see this. Uh, then you have raise the boom and lower the load. Now some say raise the boom and hold the load which really isn't quite what it is. Because when you're raising the boom like this, you really are holding the load. So you want to raise the boom and lower the load because it's, as you boom up, it's going to pull the load up. So you do this and that'll keep the load horizontal to the ground from when you start. The opposite of that is lower the boom and raise the load. And so you keep continuing to do that. And if you want to do this, but maybe because you're doing just the fingers, just do this and they just know if they're doing that, they're doing a multifunction, it's probably not gonna be anything fast. Swing is one finger, point the direction that you want to swing. And just, I keep going. 
keep swinging, keep swinging. And then I forgot to mention, I should have done this before. In all these, it's give the function, the direction, and stop. Okay? Next one, which I already did, is stop. This is stop. Doing whatever you're doing. Now, emergency stop is one signal that anybody on the job can give and everybody has to honor it. And that's emergency stop. If you see something going on that's not safe, anybody can give this to the operator and he has to shut down. Um, next one is dog everything. Dog everything just means lock the house lock, lock any other locks that are in that crane, depending on which type of crane you're running, and not necessarily shut it down, but just lock it so nothing's gonna happen. It just means, whoa, you might do that after you give a stop signal. You might do that after an emergency stop. You wanna dog everything off, we're gonna stop doing what we're doing. Uh, next one is for hydraulic cranes. There's extend boom, and the standard says you just do this. I say you do this. Exactly. You keep going. You keep extending. Opposite of that is to retract the boom. It means pull it in, suck the boom in. And then if you're holding a tag line and you have one hand occupied, there's a hand signal for telescope. Telescoping out is this one. And think of it in the way that you're telling the operator, bring the boom to me. The opposite is bring the boom to you. Take it away. It's a little confusing, but if you think of it that way, I think Jeff, I have a question. Yes. Uh, can the one that you talked about where anyone on the job site, is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, stop? Emergency stop. Emergency stop. Yeah. So that, that hand signal would be good for not just signaling to know. Everybody. But everybody to know yeah. when, especially when we're, we're doing crane operations, right? Right. right. Okay. That, that's good to know. Yeah. So can you show us one more time? Emergency yeah. stop. Emergency stop is waving both arms out horizontally to say stop. And anybody. And anybody can give that to the operator. Otherwise, the other signals only have to be given by, or only need to be given by one person, designated person, and the operator will only listen to him. You might have two signalmen's for example, if you've got an object you're picking up off the ground, you might have a signalman on the ground and it's going up on the roof. If you don't have radio communication, you'll have a guy up on the roof. What we do is just say, okay, you point to whoever and, and say, okay, now I've got it. Now I'm going up to the roof and you point to the guy on the roof. Me, I'm transferring it. He's going to give you your signal. Thank you, Keith. Okay. Thank and that's you. just something you, and you can make up your own hand signals as long as everybody on the job agrees to them, you can adapt to whatever you want just so everybody understands it. Thank you.